Okay, I'm back for the second half of the haul. I went through the first part and went through it and downloaded it. And yes, it took forever. So I'm going to go ahead and do this part and then hopefully quickly we'll get it downloaded um, after the first one, first part. Anyways, um, this is all Christmas stuff. I purchased, hauled, shopped for, however, um, from Tuesday morning. And these are actually a couple of dies that I have um, purchased a few weeks back. They were not from this trip, but I wanted to share them because they're kind of Christmas and they were a lot of fun. I don't know if you've seen them, but this one I really like and I've used it and I'll show you a couple of things I was playing with um, when I'm done. But this one I like because it has, you can cut out the doily or you can cut out the separate yuletide and the frame wreath or you could cut out from a card backing and it's really pretty. I'll show you, it's really delicate letters and then I backed it with some foam. I'm going to use it for some bag toppers and then this one I got is fun because I have been looking for some different doilies and when I saw this I thought well I can make my own and it's a pretty decent size for bag toppers and so forth so that should be fun and it cuts out these shapes if you can see it close so this doily will be fun to do for actually both sizes it's a smaller and a larger so I can layer them for different ephemera so I thought that would be fun. So then to carry on, I'm not really into the snow and cocoa a whole lot, but I found some ephemera I think I'm going to use for different projects that I want to try and work on. And so I got this one and it has the cut out, some glittered, some not um, chipboard like, or actually it's uh, the little wood pieces. So I thought that would be fun. And then um, I have friends that like the pastels and the snow and cocoa. So again, I got this one that has 40 pieces of ephemera that I can layer and stack and use for different ephemera and journal cards. And some I can use just for winter. The snowflakes are fun for just winter. It doesn't have to be Christmassy. Anyways, oh, it says winter right there, duh. Anyhow, so I got those. Then I saw this and I really liked it. I thought it could be used for Valentine's or Christmas for little gifty stuff. So I picked that up. And who doesn't need red brads for Christmas projects? So I picked those up. The bow bunny. I've got these in several colors and they're a lot of fun. And these here um, make really good... Uh, Brad's for doing envelope journals and so forth. You can use them to wrap your elastic around. So that's what I've been using those for. Um, okay. So then the new Pebbles Christmas. I'm not really into the paper stuff, but the Christmas ephemera is fun. So I picked this up with the Brad's. Uh, I can use for a lot of different things. And then I got the ephemera. The cardstock for $1.99. I mean, I could even use these for gift tags if need be. So that was fun. I have the shaker cards from the Mer uh, Merry Days that has the snow globes on it. Little snow globe shakers, so those will go with that too. And then I've been putting together um, some of the Alice stuff um, to do. And Alice in Wonderland of some sort someday. Um, so I picked up some extras of these because I'm not using them just for that but I like these and they have butterflies and the colors are really pretty so I picked up a couple of those and we'll use them for whatever. And then I picked up, I these are new and they were hard to find. I got one of each I haven't seen anything else that goes, oh, well, actually, I did, too. I have the stickers. 
for one of them, but the um, Bow Bunny Victorian Brads. And I love these Victorian stuff. Vintage stuff is uh, another one of my favorites. So I grabbed those. And then they have this one also. And I'm not sure if there's paper. I'm trying to get away from the glare here. I'm not sure if there's paper or other items that's going to go with this. But I'm hoping because I really, really like it. So I got that. And oh, this was some of the Pebbles ephemera that I got. That was $1.99. I'm not sure how many are in here. But it's got, I love this little trailer. This is so cute. The little camping trailer. And the little gnomes. I just ordered some gnome dies. I'm hoping to get before Christmas, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And then some snowflakes, which I, against my better judgment, spent that much money on four pieces. But I really liked them, and I have a couple things I want to do with them. So I grabbed those, and even worse yet, I spent money, that much money, <laughs> on four pieces of wood chip um, decorations. But I wanted also to use those on some bag toppers and whatnot. So I went ahead and got them. And I passed these guys up three or four times. I saw them at Tuesday morning, and I decided... I probably should grab a couple. I have some littles in my life that I want to do some little things for. So these would work for that. So that would be fun. And then I, some of the, <laughs> I think I went um, deer die crazy because I got this one. I have some friends that are really into the outdoor stuff. I have a lot of the guys in my family are very outdoor and, um, masculine things are not the easiest sometimes to find so this one's not of course masculine I think it's very lacy looking and I have not cut it out yet but I thought that was fun and then there's this little one I thought I could use for cards and for gift tags or whatever for some of the guys um so I'll try that and then this one I oh there's another where's it at there we go um, and this one was in the clearance, so I'm not sure why, but anyway, so I grabbed it as well because it's just a different angle and a different shape of a deer. I'm not really crazy about his face, but I like the dye part of it, so I could just do some simple colors. Anyway, so that'll be fun. And here are, I had picked up some of the comfort and joy and the cozy Christmas that I have not seen anymore but I did find this one thing of stickers so I went ahead and grabbed it and it's just one sided but they're pretty and they have a really some of them have a really light I don't know if you can see it um, glitter on them there you can pick up a little bit but there's it's really simple like the top the bow on the tree so it's really pretty and the snowflake is shimmery. You can see that. So those are really pretty. And then this was the only other part of the Bow Bunny vintage. Or this one's actually called Yuletide. And I'm really hoping to find some more. And better yet, I would love if they would put out some paper. So I'm already seeing spring and what dot flowery. Valentine's stuff at Tuesday morning, so I'm not holding out much hope for that, but you never know. And um, I did get this uh, cozy and bright paper for doing cards, and I'm not going to flip through the whole thing for sake of the time of the video. Um, again, I'm just recording from my phone and have to download it to YouTube. YouTube from my phone and it seems to take forever. I'm not into sloths but some of these little sayings are cute. I just got some coffee mug and uh, some cute little dies that um, I can use some of this stuff with. But this is really good size print for doing cards. Some of it they downsized from the 12 by 12 and some of it they didn't and I believe this is one they did not. So it was kind of interesting to see that. 
um, plaids. I'm not sure if that was downsized. Snowflakes. This one I think was downsized. Um, the sloth, I can't remember. I don't think it was either. The stripes, this will be fun for doing different Christmas. Backings for shaker cards. I like this simpler. And this is really pretty. I did cut out some small shakers for the background with this last night. It was really pretty. And this has got, I don't, again, you can see the shimmer on the dots. So it's sparkly glitter, my favorite color. And the small leaves. And this one's really pretty too. I cut some, use this for the background on some coffee mugs and it turned out really cute. For some little tiny shakers. Whoops. Green polka dot. And this is really, really tiny. They obviously downsized this. It's very tiny print. And it's the Twas the Night Before Christmas, I believe. That's what it looks like. Mm. No, it's actually Sane's Twas the Night Before Christmas. I can't read it. It's so small. And there's my squirrel glittered up. And back to the beginning, and then it just repeats. But it's really cute. And then I picked up uh, several of the um, Echo Park chipboard because, again, I'm going to use a lot. I'm going to use a lot of them for uh, doing tags and shakers and bag toppers and stuff like that. I'm hoping. Anyways, here, let me get this out of the way. So I got this one here. This one is called Christmas Time, and I'm tipping it. I'm sorry for the um, trying not to get the glare and trying to make it so you can see it all. It's not a very good angle, is it? Anyways, that's one. Let's see if I move this back a hair. And then I got this one. It's called Christmas Wonderland. And again, I just love the little kids on this. It reminds me of some of my village pieces I have from Department 56. The little carolers and the little snow people. I thought this would be fun. And little tags up here on the top. These have kind of gone up in price. They're a little expensive. They keep raising, raising the prices. And this one is called Twas the Night. And this is really cute. Oh, I love this, the words and the letters on these. Oh, Santa. Not everybody's favorite, but I like the guy. Joy. The reindeer. Santa full of sleigh, full of toys. Those are really cute. That's a really cute corner. I think those will be fun. And this one is called Have a Merry Christmas. And again, there's some deer and the vintage Santa. I just love that picture. And this one up here, this that is very vintage. And the tree. These will be fun because this could go on a bag topper and then you could decorate the tree. Some more little tags. That's cute. And then this is another one I thought could be a little more on the masculine side for guys' cards or gift bags. That's really cute. I love the trucks. I've got some dies and stamps I just bought, and my guys all like the red trucks, and they all have trucks. The boots. I love the boots. It's like the Market 49 paper that they had briefly at Tuesday morning, and I missed it. I was hoping to find it that had the little boots and it's 
really cute. Hot cocoa time. That'll go cute with my little mug dies. And then, oh, I actually got two of those. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no. Okay, I take that back. This is a paper pack that goes with this chipboard. And it's the same pictures, but it's stickers. And then it has the different papers. So it has that paper and the snowflakes and the cut-aparts. It actually has these. These are all the papers. Up here. Hang on. We just fell down. I was trying to get too close. Well, at least I didn't shut you off. Okay, let's try this one more time. Sorry about that. So, I got the plaid and the boughs of branches pattern. Looks like some saying snowflakes, hats, another pattern. Looks like snowish stripes and more snowflakes. And a little special delivery. Really cute, cute snowman. Anyway, so I got that. Then they had this Rhapsody paper, and I'm sorry for the noise. I'm going to open this because I want to show you how pretty this glitter is. Um, if you follow Maria on Pink Crafty World, she showed this, and she's the she's the enabler on that one. Sorry, Maria, but I love this paper. It wasn't you. I just had to have it. And I was lucky and found two. But look at this glitter on this paper. It is so pretty. And it's a gorgeous green. I'm not a big green fan, but this one I did like. So I got that. And it came with the red. And it's just shiny. It's kind of a fiber-like paper. It's interesting. So it'll be interesting to see how dyes cut it. And then the gold is so pretty. And then the papers are just as gorgeous. And it's also a very uh, good quality cardstock. It's only one sided, but, but it's got the deer. And I thought this would be awesome for a journal cover or a signature cover in a Christmas journal. Um, if I got back into scrapbooking, it would make a great scrapbook page. And then these vintage, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And this also will coordinate with those brads and stickers I got. So even if I don't find the um, paper, I don't know which one of these lights is giving me such a bad glare. Um, even if I don't find any paper, I can certainly coordinate it with this. It is so pretty. And this little kids in the snowflakes and the snowman, Santa in the hot air balloon. Or actually, it looks like a blimp, maybe. Yeah, so much fun. They're so pretty. I better get going here. We're gonna be running out of time. And then there's this printed page. I'm really sorry about the glare. I'm trying. There, that's better. Anyway, that's really pretty. And then there's the polka dot. Polka dots even look old. It's cute. And then this point set of paper is gorgeous. This can this camera's not doing it justice because it's very vintagey looking in the background. If you can see that. But it's really pretty. There's another red. And it says Merry Christmas. Okay, let's see if we can get out of the glare. There we go. Very pretty. And one more is the scenes. And they're not... I think you have to cut them out. Yeah, you have to cut them out. They're very... Believe in Santa, joy, the most wonderful time of the year. I just love this. Anyway, 
So that's that paper pad. And it's called Joyful Joyful Rhapsody is the paper collection. It comes with all those. And it was a good price. It was $3.49. Oh, I don't know how many sheets are in there. Um, seven printed 12-inch cardstock and three glitter. So there's 10 pieces in there. That's not too bad. It's nice quality, too. Okay. So we're going to set that aside. And then one of my very favorite collections is Graphics 45. And I just knocked something down again. And I was able to find, I have seen people hauling it. So my co-mother-in-law and I were on the hunt because it's her, one of her favorites, too. And we found exactly two sticker sheets one for each of us this one and it's so cute i have a lot of our um, family santa pictures from when my mom was little from when my siblings and i were little santa my kids my niece and so i'm thinking about doing a journal a christmas journal to put some of those family Santa pictures in and I thought this would be really cute so that's the stickers and then the pack paper came in packs in the 25 piece packs for $3.99 of the same um, prints so we bought each bought a pack of print and then we split them so that worked out so we ended up with actually four different prints because they're two-sided so we got this one, which is the Santa Babies. They look like, uh, what were those little dolls? I forget. Um, 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 um. Anyways, they're really cute. And then the back is just a stripe, which the color and being simple, I can put it with a lot of my different Graphic 45. And so it'll coordinate with other things. So having that many sheets doesn't really matter. And I can also use it to make envelopes or journal covers or whatever. So, multiple uses. And then the other pack I got, and we each got one of these because this was so cute, is the 25 Days Countdown. And they're so cute. Very cute. Cute, cute, cute. All the different trying to stop the glare I'm sorry and then the back of this one is like the orange plaid which is really interesting with the red Christmas but it doesn't really clash so um, I have lots of envelope and signature pages and all kinds of stuff and it also will coordinate with we found the Graphic 45, it's the um, Imagine 16 sheets, and I'm not going to run through it because you can see them all right here, but the, the pages, the paper's really pretty, but it's these different prints, and they also will coordinate with several of the different collections of Graphic 45, so that'll be fun, and I believe these are, nope, they are two-sided, so there is a second... Um, actually, they're these solid um, colors that are on the bottom here. They're on the back side of them. And they're just like really subtle tone-on-tone -tone colors. So that was fun. And then last but not least, I have always searched for the 80-pound cardstock at our Tuesday morning and never could find it. And I did happen to find one pack of the 80-pound neutrals and so it has the off-white the white the buttery color cream whatever and the tan so i have at least 20 shades of the heavy card talk i like using the 80 pound for making cards for using the card base it's a little heavier than the normal card stock but it's not as heavy as the 110 which i've also used but it gets a little hard to work with sometimes depending on what you're doing 
So I was glad to find this. I would like to find more. So I will keep shopping. So with that, I don't know how much. Oh gosh, we've gone a long time again. I wanted to go over and show you a couple of things I did with this die. And I'm going to try and it'll probably take forever to download this video. But let me show you just a few things really quick that I did. The Yuletide die that I used, I cut out like this. I backed it with some foam. I don't know if you can see that. Well, you can see the foam in the back. To just pop it up a little bit. And I will put it on. I will use it to put on some rosettes or something for bake toppers. I'm not sure what else I'll decorate it with. I've been playing. I'm just going to throw these out here so you can see them because I don't have a whole lot of time. This is the die that I cut this out with. Or, I'm sorry, that I used to cut some of these out with. And I'll show you this one in a second. This was the center of that doily die that I showed you. So that was one of those. This is the cutout, and I also popped it up on foam so I can use it for layering. And I cut that out of this die. And then not to waste, this is a different color, but it's one on top. I have the gold right here. Not to waste the cutout, I went ahead and made it into a shaker. So you can see where this was cut out and said Merry Christmas. I took the edge of it and cut it out with the background and made a little shaker um, with it. Try not to get it to glare. So you can kind of see the, where the letters were sat, sitting, but it's not the prominent part of it. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. And then I also did the same with the red. Just put some little shaker stuff in there. Some background paper. I made little shakers out of them so I didn't waste the background. And then I have the little reindeer die. And um, I know several people have this and this has been really fun. So I just popped a little bell on the bottom of it. Um, I there's, a, I think, Scrap Diva 29 is where I saw this and had to have it. So I came up with some of my own. This is um, one of the stickers from Tuesday morning that was like the Santa. There's the holly and a few others. So I just popped a holly on there, and I used this really smooth, I don't know if you can tell, um, glitter it's hard to tell, but it's a really smooth. It's not like the normal glitter paper. It's more like a shimmer. So that was fun. So I did that one. And I did this one out of just reindeer color. And put some little shakers in there. Another bell on the bottom. And then this one I did, this was the little flower die that I purchased from Ellie. And I made some little flowers and I hand cut these little leaves, holly leaves, put a little white bell on it, some Christmas tree um, sequins, some beads, made a shaker, um, what other, uh, I have this ice skate, so I did this, um, note to self, don't use a tacky uh, two-way glue to glue anything with these because it sticks on the inside, but it still moves. So I will probably decorate, put some flowers and stuff and some pearls on the lace. And uh, I'll use it anyway. So that was fun. And then for all my friends of pink, um, this is a really, really pale pink and it might not show up that way on here. So I put some pink snowflakes in there, a little silver bell, and I'll probably put a bow or something. Just some of the things I've been doing with these. This one I put a little snowman inside. And it's a white, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's a white shimmer glitter cardstock I use for the top. And last but not least, my last little reindeer. And he's got snowflakes and some little rhinestones. I don't know if you can see this. It's got stars, I'm sorry. I said snowflakes, stars. And I popped a little bow and a little red bell. And I think some of them I'm going to put little hangers on so I can use them for ornaments. You could use them for gift tags. You could write on the back and then make them for an ornament for next year. And just some more little Yuletides and Christmas and pop those up. Anyways, um, so that's not waste. So that way I'm not wasting the cut up parts. I hate to throw it away. So 
Anyways, with that, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will maybe see you again soon. Have a good day. Good night. Good morning. Bye, guys.